Happy Canada Day! It's July 1st for you Canucks. Hope you're enjoying your day. Hi, I'm Denise and welcome to Travels in My Chair. I'm so glad you could join me when there's so many other things you could be doing. A lot of us have family that leave. Good friends that have left us. People that we know and love that have passed on. And it's a tough time as we're getting older. It's a tough time for us. But we have hope. We have hope to learn to accept the things that we cannot change. If we have health issues or we have age issues, they're not going to probably go away. So we better make the most of them, don't you think? So I would say take a moment out of every day, even if it's just a snip it and be thankful forget your worries don't make you feel like singing that song right no <laughs> forget your worries and be thankful for what's right in front of you because like i said a lot of you have got family that live far far away and you can't see them and i have to tell you i, uh, I did a really bad thing when i first got cancer in 2006. My daughter Angela had met a guy earlier on and he was lived in Scotland but he was Australian and they spent time in both the UK and Australia and then they were talking about getting married and eventually having children. She said to me one day that she would like to move to Australia and I, my heart went into my throat. I, I couldn't even fathom it. And I did something that no mother should do. I said, oh, you're planning on getting married and eventually having children? She said, yeah, I won't be able to see you. I said, I can't do those flights to Australia. I know, and I don't know at this stage of my life how much I've got time left, you know. Oh. God, that guilt. Oh, anyway, needless to say, they didn't go. But fast forward now to 2023, the conversation has come up again that perhaps they'd like to go for a year because they're both nurses and they both can work in the UK. Michael can work in Australia. And while the kids are young, so this time I'm keeping my mouth shut. You'd be very proud of me. Yes, I would miss them terribly, but, but what you need for a good balance is you need a good sleep, good food, good friends, and good family, and good exercise. And by that I mean whatever your age and your health will allow. You know what? You don't need to prove anything to anybody anymore. You did all that, but you just got to keep moving as much as you can. I mean, you know you can't replace your loved ones and your family if something happens to them. You can still keep them in your heart and you can still remember as much of the good times as you can. And I would rather my family and friends remember me in good times, not in sad times, to be honest. But they'll always have a special place in my heart. And I might not be able to do some of the crazy things I've wanted to do or travel like Al and I have been so lucky to be able to travel. Well, it's not so easy anymore, you know? So we have to make our fun other ways. And we can. I mean, this year we've been camping once. We're going to go camping another couple of times with all our family. There'll be, God knows, 15 of us or something. But you know what? It's just, I can do it. I can get out. I don't care if I'm in a wheelchair. Who the heck cares? If I have to have three naps a day, I don't care. And they don't care either, really. Now you're probably wondering where the kids went. No, they didn't go away permanently. They've gone to Scotland for three weeks to visit Michael's family. And oh my gosh, uh, I believe there's 
His parents have 22 grandchildren. I think there's five siblings. There's friends. There's, it's going to be a busy time. And the kids were perfect on the plane, you know. And they get a chance to see all their cousins because they're all getting in their teenage years now. Always hope for the better. Don't ever give up. And be thankful for what you have in your life. You may not think it's much, but believe me, it's probably lots. You know, my family, my friends, my little dog. I'm a lucky girl, aren't I? Oh, I've got to tell you about my health. Had to go for a yearly checkup. You know where they do the whole shebang. And voila, my doctor phoned me and said, you're good. Your cholesterol's right on. Your A1C, your blood sugars are right on. Your fasting blood sugars, liver function, everything is perfect. In fact, we're going to start slowly taking me off some of my diabetic medicine. Won't that be good? Because I'm not eating the sugar that I used to eat. Because remember, I've told you I was a sugar holic. The only thing is I have a heart murmur. And there's not much we can do about that. I was talking to my doctor and I said, wow, a heart murmur, it's worse than it was before because I've had one for years, you know. He said, yeah. He said, if you have to go to the hospital, if you have chest pains, just tell them that that's what you've got. So I said, oh, so they don't just dive right in and open my sternum up to massage my heart. And he said, exactly. <laughs> Love my doctor, he's great. So although the kids have left, they will be back, and then we'll be off to Vancouver Island to do some camping. I hope you enjoy your weekend, and thank you so much for joining me. Love to you all. You're in my heart, you know, even though it's virtual. <laughs> See you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.